Welcome or welcome back to another video. In today's video in Jenny's Pages, I am excited to show you guys my completed pages for the month of April. It's crazy how this month is already over. I feel like this year time is just going by pretty quickly. So let's get right into this video. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my video. Um, watch my video and then decide if you want to stay or not stay. And I hope that you do stay. I hope that you're part of my YouTube channel. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this video. For the first book of the month that I have been coloring in is The 50 Ocean Miniatures by Camilla Angel Cova. I did complete one page out of here, which was a buddy color with Steph Louise on Instagram. This is our first buddy color of this um, with this month. And this is my page. And I think it turned out okay. I use water base and markers on here. I don't have a lot of uh, markers for my other one that I have on here alcohol markers so i decided to just stick with um water based markers for this page but this is my page and let me go ahead and show you guys um stuff page for the month here we have life in a jar this is a book project with um shanna on instagram so this is by emily I'm not sure the how to pronounce the last name, but I really, really love this book. And we did two pages out of here for this month. So here is our first page. This is my page. I used um, water base as well for the markers. And then I ended up using, I always forget the name of this here, but this is why I used this color over here for the flower. I thought that would come out pretty cute, but this is my page. And let me go ahead and show you guys um, a shade's color. So her Instagram is shade loves coloring 23. Go ahead and follow her. She does amazing pages as well. And then here we have this page as well. Um, this is our second page of the month that we have worked on. I wasn't sure how to color in this little bottle, so I just kept it like this, um, and I think it came out pretty good, and then I liked everything else. It was very simple, nothing extreme, nothing with like more than three colors on here. I think I used, let me see the pink, one, two, three, four, yeah, five exact colors on here, but it was a fun page to complete, so let me go ahead and show you guys Shay, Shay um, page as well. Here we have another book project. This is Broken Circles 2, and the book project is with Disney Max on a YouTube channel, and this is the page that we have picked out for this month. This is the one that I um, and Disney had completed on here. I think mine came simple. Um, I didn't really do much to it. I just did like jelly rolls outline for the trees on here. I used alcohol markers on here, and um, I tried to stay with the same colors on here. And let me go ahead and show you guys Disney Max Page. She did such an amazing job for hers. Here we have this one. Um, it is in Friends. So this is by Kevin Tier Art. I did my first page out of this book. And this is the entire collection of 2022. And this is the page that I decided to complete on here. Very simple. But it is my first page out of here. Here we have Cute Spring Gnomes Coloring Book. And this is by Color Caramel. I did one page out of here, which is this page with the books. I had so much fun with this one. I did metallic outline alcohol markers on here. And that's pretty much it for this one. Here we have uh, this one is Fantasy Fairy Portraits Grayscale. And I did one page out of here. And I used the brush, uh, the brush glitter markers. And then I used Jelly Rose on here, Metallic on here, um, Ahuhu Alcohol Marker. And I like how the shine is for the background on there super fun page here we have precious moments coloring book and this one i did one page out of here which is this one right here i had so much fun with this one i did gold outline for the outfit enchanted faces i worked on this is a project book with low colors and here is the first page with low colors this is my page 
and I use glossy accent for the eyes and the lips. I use glitter, the stickles on the wings and her hair. And I really love how this page turned out. I had so much fun. So let me go ahead and show you guys the low colors page as well. She did such an amazing, amazing job on her page. Go ahead and give her a follow up on Instagram. And let's go ahead and move on to the next one is this one right here. She had already completed this page and um, I did this one on my own just because she had already done it. So I finally got to complete this one, which I had a lot of fun with this one. My son was actually the one giving me the colors for everything else. And then he gave up. He gave up by the time I finished the hair. So he was like, no, I'm done. So then he left and I just finished <laughs> picking out the colors for this page. And then... For the last page that we had worked on, it was this one right here with low colors as well. I used stickles on there, the, the white acrylic um, markers for the outline. I used liquid pearls on here, and then one of my markers were dying, so I was hoping that I got to finish it, and I was able to force in the marker on there. But this was a super fun page to complete. So let me go ahead and show you guys low colors as well. Here we have another amazing book that I super, super love. This is Cute Chibi Cre Creature um, Coloring, Creative or Creature Coloring. Oh, geez. Um, this is one of my favorite books and it was a gift. So I had worked on a page on here with low colors as well. And this is in my page. I wanted to just stick with the yellow with the flowers on here. I used the brush glitter markers on here, alcohol markers on here. Super fun page to complete so let me go ahead and show you guys the low colors here we have 50 space theme miniatures by camilla angel kova i worked on one page out of here and this is the page that i had fun for this month that i decided to work on um I like how it turned out. I tried to stick with more with like pastel type of colors on here. And I love how the background came out. I should have just did an entire background. I think it would have looked pretty cool. But I just ended up doing just this side here. And then that's pretty much it. But I used soft pastel in the background. Used metallic for the outline for the stars. Alcohol markers. Um, the glitter. No, not the glitter ones. The jelly rolls for the eyes on there. And a super fun page to complete. We have Fashion Coloring Book for Girls. This is a coloring book that brings about 400 pages on here, but very, very simple. I did one page out of here, which is this page right here. Very simple and just stayed with brown and pink. I thought that was a cute combination. And I had so much fun with this, um, with this page. Once again, this book is just very simple chibis on here. So that's the only page that I worked on for this month. Here we have Victorian Darlings, and this one I worked on one page, which is this one right here. And I stayed with a lot of brown. I was trying to do like vintage type of look on there, and then her hair came out okay. I don't know if it completely looks right with those type of colors, but yeah, I just had fun with this page. I used a lot of glitter on here for her eyes, for her lips, and her hair. Very simple and fun to do, but that's the only page I worked on for this one. Here we have Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. I completed one page out of here, which is this one. And I used a lot of uh, pastel colors on here. I really like how this one turned out. I used glossy accent metallic colors on here. I also used stickles on there. And um, that's pretty much it. Alcohol markers. It was a super fun page to complete. Here we have Chibi Girls Coloring Book Volume 3 by April Amber. And I only completed this page out of here. Use metallic outline on here for her outfit and also for this stuff down here, which I'm not sure what it's called, but it was a fun page to complete on here. Here we have Tattoo Darlings, and this is by Hannah Lynn, and I completed one page out of here, which is this one. And I used liquid pearls for her dots on her hair, and then I used glossy accent for her eyes and lips. I used alcohol markers on here, metallic gold on the wings. Super fun page to complete. Here we have Fairy Tale Princess and Storybook Darlings, one of my favorite books as well. So here we have this page, and I had so much fun trying to complete this one. I used a lot of stickles for her dress, the pumpkins, um, the clouds as well. I had so much fun trying to complete this page. Um, I tried to stick with the same colors for her outfit, 
and then her pumpkin pretty much the same color for her top of her dress and the inside of it i thought this was a super fun page to complete and i love the stickles how it looks here we have 50 Safari Miniatures by Camila Angel Kova. I completed only one page out of here. And I ended up using the salt pastel for the background, glossy accent for the eyes. I try to stay with the same color combination for the brown ones for their um, bodies and stuff. And then I used the glitter brush um, markers on here for the rocks. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Here we have preppy chibi girls and this is a fun coloring book that i really like um, one of the girls told me about it and we did our first buddy color out of here this is a buddy color with quirky girls world this is my page i use glossy accent for the hearts her eyes and the birds eyes metallic and then the alcohol markers for my page and then let me go ahead and show you guys Quirky Girls World. She did an amazing job on her page. And yeah, don't forget to give her a follow-up on her Instagram. She does amazing pages on her, on her end. Here we have 50 Vacation and Summer Fairy Houses. This is by Camila Angel Kova. And I completed one page out of here, which is this one. Use metallic for the rocks. I try to stay with the same color with like the sandal, the blanket, the hat, and then the little blanket down here and it was a fun page to complete i haven't worked on this book for a very long time so i decided to just work do one page out of here here we have the 50 prehistoric miniatures by camilla angel kova and i did one page out of here which is this one i used metallic for the metallic and the glitter jelly rolls on here for the back of this dinosaur and then um yeah, that's pretty much it everything else is alcohol markers on here here we have sherry body my bestie little rascals coloring book which is a project book with a quirky girls world and this is the page that we did for this month i used metallic for the flowers on there and for the stars and alcohol markers on here and let me go ahead and show you guys Quirky Girls World's page. She did an amazing job for her page. Here we have Fairy Cuties. This is another book project with Quirky Girls World. And our page for this month is this little cute little girl with her little doll on here. And this is my page. And I used alcohol markers on here. Jelly rolls for her eyes. And then the white artistical for the for the white one here the acrylic marker one and that's pretty much for this page so let me go ahead and show you guys quirky girls world love how her page came out we have fairy chibis coloring book this is a book project and it's with kate colors over at youtube channel low colors on instagram quirky girls world on instagram and astra luna coloring on instagram and this is by alexandra francis Let's go ahead and start with our first page here, which is this one. And um, I had so much fun with this one. It was very simple for me. And this is my page, how it turned out. So let's go ahead and start showing you guys the rest of the girls' pages. Let's start it off with Quirky Girls World, Kate Colors, Astra Luna Coloring, and then Low Colors. And I love how they all have different ideas for their pages. Here we have our second page that we worked on for this month. I used a lot of stickles, metallic on my stars, and I wanted to keep her outfit in white. I just thought that that would be pretty cool. And then let's go ahead and start showing you guys the girls' pages, which is Quirky Girls World, Cake Colors, Astra Luna Coloring, and low colors and then for the last page that we worked on is this page right here and i had so much fun with this one i stayed a lot with green and then the bumblebee down here and a lot of glitter the glitter brush markers i used them on this page a lot for her outfit her wings and the bumblebee so let's go ahead and start showing you guys the girls pages which is quirky girls world Kate colors Astra Luna coloring, 
and low colors so those are all the pages that we have worked out on this book moving on to portraits this one i was missing so i did my first page out of here which is this page here and what i was trying to do on this page besides using acrylic markers on here i also wanted to do like a metallic outline for the black so anywhere you see shiny and metallic and that's supposed to be black but i decided to actually just use the metallic one and see how it turns out and this is how my page turned out and i really like this page and i use acrylic i think i said that but <laughs> yeah this is the first page i got done out of this book here we have Trompelet Tome 3. I did one page out of here, which is this one. At first, I was a little bit confused. I had no idea what the heck was coming up. And then when I started seeing like the whole little round thing, I was like, yes, now I know what it is. But I was so confused with the page. But this is with um, acrylic markers on here as well. Here we have Pixar. This is Tome 2. And this was one of the ones that I was missing. I finally got it. And I did one page out of here, which is this one. And for this one, I ended up using acrylic um, Stabilos, which are drying up on me, the Stabilos. So I do have to get myself like a new pack, hopefully soon. Um, and then everything else is just the acrylic markers on here. But that's the only page I worked out of this one. Moving on to the babies one. This one is one that I would like to complete because I have a little bit left to work on. So let's go ahead and show you guys all the pages that I have worked on. Starting out with this one right here. This is one that I have worked on. Um... In the beginning of the month and i used acrylic on this one and you can see the difference this was this year this was last year when i first got the book and then here's another one which is this side and i use acrylic on here as well and a lot of good amount of browns on here the next page is this one right here which i use stabilos on here and i think she turned out pretty good moana here a lot of browns on this one the next two pages i worked on was these two right here and um oh no 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 i did this one last month on march this is the one i finished working on and i told you guys that you guys were gonna see in april i'm over here confused with both of them but it was this one right here and i used acrylic on here as well and i think it's the last page yes this turtle right here is the last page that i worked on out of this book and i used acrylic as well moving on to last grand classics tome 10 this one i'm working with k colors and we're doing five pages out of the month out of each month out of this book so here's the next um page that we're working on like that we did work on um this page is mine i did not like how my skin colors came out i couldn't find a good color and i was using the water-based ahuhu markers and i couldn't find a good skin color on here and this is the closest that i got so i don't like how it turned out so let's go ahead and show you guys cake colors our next page is this one right here i used acrylic and a little bit of stabilos on here as well and i think she came out a little cute like almost all of my stabilo markers are just dying on me this one was dying on me the blue one and this one over here this one that i used purple one so um let's go ahead and show you guys cake colors here's our next page that we have completed and this is my page i actually do like how this one turned out i used um acrylic and then i used the water-based markers on here because i didn't have a color for the acrylic one so this is my page let's go ahead and show you guys cake colors Here's another fun one. It took me forever to do this one because it has so many details on here. And but it was a fun page. I really love completing this page, and it turned out pretty good. I use acrylic markers on here as well. So let's go ahead and show you guys cake colors. And then this is another one that had a lot of details, and it took me about um, I could say two days because i didn't work on it back to back like i didn't start it and then finish it in the same time so i did took break in between especially all this small areas on here the hat and then all of this back here but it turned out okay and let's go ahead and show you guys k colors here we have baby circles and i did one page out of here which is this one nope i did two pages out of here 
and it has so many browns on here for Moana. And then the background, I ended up using like a metallic color on there. So it looks kind of shiny on there. And then the next page I completed was Tigger. And I did like the gold outline when I was done coloring everything. And then metallic for the nose. Then the last book right here is Mickey, Donald, and Co. This is a book project with um, a low colors. So let's go ahead and show you guys our page for this month, which is a Mickey here. Very fast pay, um, page to complete because pretty much everything else is white. And then our next page was this one. And then this one, I started off with acrylic and then my acrylic died. And I had to try my best to find another acrylic color, which are the Arctic, I think it is. And yeah you could tell the difference but you know what i mean i didn't have no more other colors to be a little bit close to this one but yeah that's the other page that i had completed so i did forget to show you guys my ipad i haven't filled it out with the information but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna count these and then we'll find out how many pages i had completed which i have no idea what i have so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 pages for the month of april so thank you for watching that is the end of this video and thank you for everybody that has done a buddy color with me i hope to see our next month um buddy colors as well and if you want to join me don't hesitate to send me a message over on instagram thank you again and have an amazing amazing rest of the week